Isolatec International, the world leader in passive fire protection, offers the most comprehensive line of fire protection products on the market today. The Kafka Blaze Shield family of SFRMs has been in existence for 50 years and has become the world's best-selling dry mix fire protection product on the market today. This video is intended to instruct the applicators of Kafka Blaze Shield 2 on project and equipment setup, SFRM installation, and project shutdown and completion. Blaze Shield 2 is a pneumatically applied SFRM that must be stored in a dry environment, off ground, under a weatherproof cover, and protected from damp surfaces or areas of high humidity. Blaze Shield 2 can be stored for up to six months from the date of manufacture under dry conditions. A permanent location for the pneumatic application machine must be secured on level, well-drained ground that is protected from the weather and easily accessible to truckload deliveries and the power source. Secure adequate power for the application equipment. Power requirements depend on the type of equipment used as well as the distance from the power source. Potable water must be used. A minimum water pressure of 65 PSI must be maintained at the nozzle to properly apply the product. A water booster pump with a 55 gallon tank is necessary. Sufficient lighting for adequate control of texture and thickness must be provided. Adequate ventilation must be provided, particularly when spraying in enclosed areas, such as basements, stairwells, shafts, and small rooms. A minimum of four complete air exchanges per hour is required until the SFRM is fully cured. When the temperature at the job site is less than 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius, a minimum substrate and ambient temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit shall be maintained prior to, during, and a minimum of 24 hours after application of CAFCO SFRMs. Protect skin from irritation by wearing loose clothing and protect eyes and respiratory tract from airborne product by wearing NIOSH certified dust masks or respirators, certified N95 or greater, and goggles, safety glasses, or eye shields. The application machine consists of a hopper, feed auger, carding system, airlock, and a blower. The application of Blaze Shield 2 consists of conditioning the material through the application machine and pneumatically conveying it through the hose to the nozzle where atomized water is introduced. Only the following manufacturers and models of application equipment are approved for use when applying Blaze Shield 2. Unisol Inc., all poly spray pneumatic fireproofing machines. Contractors Consulting Service Inc., Boss Machines with two, five, seven, and ten power packs and the small fireproofing machines. Proper hose setup is critical when applying Blaze Shield 2. The transfer hose must be smooth interior rubber or plastic with a two and a half or three inch inside diameter. The hose must be reinforced to resist kinking or cracking and must resist static buildup. Flexible hose length should not exceed 250 feet. Do not use PVC type hose as it can lead to a static charge buildup. Lightweight flex hose, also known as whip hose, must be smooth interior rubber or plastic with a two or two and a half inch inside diameter. It must be lightweight and flexible to allow mobility at the nozzle and must resist static buildup. The maximum whip hose length is 25 feet. Standpipe is two and a half or three inch inside diameter aluminum pipe or conduit that is used to transfer material vertically or horizontally. Standpipe must be used when the transfer height exceeds three stories or 36 feet or when the total length of material hose were to exceed 250 feet. The use of transfer hose in lieu of standpipe causes the material breakdown resulting in high product densities and low yields and is not recommended. Pole guns are two or two and a half inch inside diameter lightweight aluminum pipe or conduit that typically comes in three foot lengths. Several sections may be coupled together to produce a longer length depending upon the height of the substrate to be sprayed. The use of a pole gun typically eliminates the need for scaffolds as it allows the sprayer to move more freely, thus increasing productivity. The maximum pole gun length should not exceed 12 feet. 
An 18-inch section of flexible hose is attached to the top of the pole gun and the nozzle is then inserted into the flexible hose. A light rope of sufficient strength to bend the flexible hose is tied around the nozzle. The other end of the rope is tied to the pole gun. Pulling on the rope causes the nozzle to bend upward, allowing the sprayer to reach the top of the bottom beam flanges. Releasing the rope allows the nozzle to spring back to a straight direction, allowing application to decks and remaining parts of the beam. Only the following nozzles are approved for use when applying Blaze Shield 2. Hydrocone Incorporated, 2-inch RA6 airless, 2.5-inch RA9 airless, 2.5-inch ID air water low output, or 2.5 ID air water high output. It is mandatory that a water booster pump with a 55-gallon tank be used to ensure proper water pressure and volume. A minimum water pressure of 65 PSI must be maintained at the nozzle in order to properly apply the product. Proper adhesion of Blaze Shield 2 depends upon clean substrates. Make certain that the following conditions do not exist before applying Blaze Shield 2. Oily steel decks, loose mill scale, loose rust or dirt, concrete form oils, painted steel surfaces, and other foreign materials that may prevent proper bonding to the substrate. Check with our technical service staff to determine acceptability of the primer or paint with the SFRM. Careful attention must also be given to the primed steel guidelines located in the front of the UL Fire Resistance Directory, Volume 1, prior to the application of Blaze Shield 2. Do not apply Blaze Shield 2 to steel floor decks prior to the completion of concrete work on that deck. Blaze Shield 2 shall not be applied to the underside of the roof deck until the roofing is completely installed and tight, all penthouses are complete, all mechanical units have been placed, and after construction roof traffic has ceased. Clips, hangers, supports, sleeves, and other attachments to the substrate are to be placed by others prior to the SFRM application. Ducts, piping, conduit, or other suspended equipment are to be installed after the application of Blaze Shield 2. CAFCO Bond Seal is a clear drying, water dispersible coating that is primarily used as an adhesive for CAFCO SFRMs. CAFCO Bond Seal, mixed as an adhesive, must be applied to all galvanized roof decks without concrete topping and galvanized cellular decks prior to the application of Blaze Shield 2. Determining the correct water to product ratio is critical to the proper performance of Blaze Shield 2. The water to product ratio is 1.2 to 1 water to product by weight. Establish the maximum water quantity by opening the water valve to the fully opened position and directing the spray into a 5 gallon pail for one minute. The pail used for this test is the CAFCO bond sealed pail. Using any other pail will give inaccurate results. Measure the height of the water in inches. Compare the height of the water in the bucket to the chart in Appendix A of the Application and Installation Manual and determine the maximum bag per hour rate. Next, determine the product feed rate by measuring the time it takes to spray one bag. Adjust the material feed rate to match the water level measured. It is mandatory that completed areas be given a water overspray to press up any loose product and to enable the binders in the product to migrate to the surface. This practice will result in an applied product with a tighter and harder surface. The water overspray shall be completed before the end of the workday. Prior to startup, check the machine hopper and carding box for foreign debris. Adjust the carding box or disc settings to the following recommendations. For Unisil 200 or 300 series machines, the carding box setting is 6. For Unisil 500 series machines, the carding box setting is 4. For Boss machines, the disc setting is 8. Turn the machine's main power on and check to see that the voltage meter indicates the proper voltage is being supplied to the machine. Do not use the application machine if the proper voltage cannot be supplied, as this will damage the motors and the machine itself. 
Empty one bag of Blaze Shield II into the machine hopper at a time. When the hopper is one-fourth full, empty the next bag into the hopper. Turn the water on at the nozzle. Activate the product feeder system on the machine and adjust the water to product ratio as previously explained. Proper application depends upon fundamental spraying techniques. The nozzle must be held perpendicular to the substrate and at a distance of 18 inches to 24 inches from the substrate when applying Blaze Shield 2. For fluted decking, Blaze Shield 2 is applied to the risers or vertical portions by first moving the nozzle along the length of the deck no more than 12 feet per pass. The product will also build up on a portion of the crest and valleys adjacent to the riser being sprayed. The nozzle should be held at an angle of 20 to 30 degrees from the vertical. Each successive riser is done in turn. Ideal situations allow the sprayer to be moving backwards in order to have a better view of the spraying operation and thus more effectively control the application of the sprayed product. The crests of the deck are then completed by holding the nozzle nearly vertical. Caution must be exercised when the sprayer nears the edge of the building. Make sure safety lines are in place around the building periphery. When applying Blaze Shield 2 to beams, the nozzle is held at an angle of 30 to 45 degrees from the vertical by utilizing the flexible hose. First apply material to the web flange junction and a portion of the top of the lower flange. Holding the nozzle in the same position, make a second pass to cover the remainder of the flange and the flange tip. The bottom of the upper flange is partially completed in the course of spraying the deck. To complete this area, the nozzle is held at an angle of 20 to 30 degrees from the vertical. Spray the deck flutes above the upper beam flange by holding the nozzle at a 20 to 30 degree angle so that material enters and fills this area. The beam web is done next by holding the nozzle perpendicular to the web. The material is applied in multiple passes until the entire web is completed. The bottom of the lower flange is sprayed last from directly beneath the beam. The nozzle is held at an angle of 20 to 30 degrees from the vertical. The application of Blaze Shield 2 to columns. The application must start from the top downward. The nozzle should be held perpendicular. The SFRM is directed to an inside flange web junction and inside flange. It is then applied to the flange tip from the inside of the column, thus wrapping around to the outside of the same flange. Repeat this procedure on the opposite inside flange web junction, inside flange and tip. Apply material to the web in an even up and down motion beginning at the bottom of the column. Move to the right and spray the outside flange. Overlap the product previously applied around the flange tip. Complete the flange. Wrap the product around the next flange tip and complete the entire column. When applying Blaze Shield 2 to steel joists and trusses, maintain the nozzle perpendicular to the steel surface at all times. Apply the product to the top cord first. Apply product to the top and sides of the bottom cord. Apply product to the diagonal web members and spray the bottom of the bottom cord last. Repeat these steps for the opposite side of the joist or truss and remember to finish one side before moving on to the next. Remember to perform the mandatory water overspray to press up any loose product and enable the binders to migrate to the surface. This practice will result in an applied product with a tighter and harder surface and must be completed before the end of the workday. Run the machine until the hopper is empty and disengage the product feed system on the machine. Turn the water off at the nozzle and source and turn the machine main power off. For additional information and clarification, contact Technical Service Isola Tech International, telephone 973-347-1200, fax 973-347-9170, or visit our website at www.cafco.com or email us at cafco at isolatech.com. This video is designed as a teaching aid only and is not intended to take the place of strict adherence and review of the CAFCO Blaze Shield 2 application and installation manual.